Hey guys, what's happening? So, thought I'd try a different engine in this BMT 984. I mean, I have a whole bunch of extra en engines I haven't even tried yet that are brand new. Um, this is a Pico Auto. I may never read about this one, but for some reason, I mean, it feels like it has really good compression, but uh, I can't get this thing to idle right. I mean, I got it to idle right, but it seems like there's something up with the glow plug. I mean, I've tried multiple glow plugs. It's a turbo glow plug. And uh, I can't get it to, like, it wants to die when I take the uh, thing off. So, not sure what's going on with that thing, but, I mean, I want to drive this car, and I don't want to keep on troubleshooting and troubleshooting, so I'm just going to throw a different engine in for now. That way I can at least get the, get the car broken in it, I've hardly even driven this car. Um, you know, it's still basically like a brand new car. So, um, yeah, I just need to get a good engine. I think I'm just going to get something that's simpler to uh, work on, just so I can get it going. And then I'll go back and kind of play with the higher-end Italian stuff. But the engine I want to mess around with, this is this uh, OSRG. So I have a, quite a few engines up here, but this one's brand new. I bought this on a, another eBay lot. And uh, I mean, this thing's brand new. So uh, I don't think it's even been around before, but it looks like it's super, super clean. But the guy actually in the ad said it was actually new. He said he never ran it. So. I, mean, I actually have been oiling it up, so um, this is actually an RG, so I believe it's, it has like the Traxxas, a uh, little spot for the C-clip on the front of the engine. Um, made in Japan, obviously, so, but it's not like the high-end, um, I mean, you can tell it's not a high-end engine because it's not a removable Venturi for the carburetor, but uh, right now I just want to drive this car, so hopefully this will be easier to tune and, and get going, this way I can drive it around and mess around with it, learn how to drive it. So, I even went to a smaller Venturi. It originally came with a 9mm Venturi. So sometimes when you go to the smaller Venturi, it's easier to tune because it's, you have more velocity. So it's easier to idle with the smaller Venturi. Um, Alright, so I'm kind of bummed, but I'm, I'm going to go back to this engine once I get this thing dialed in. The thing I didn't notice on the Pico is that, see that red stuff? That's, that's red RTV sealant. I never use red RTV sealant. So that came from somewhere inside the engine. That's actually why you never want to use RTV sealant because it blows through the engine. It can create. It doesn't. Scu it, it doesn't scuff on the actual the side that has rubber on it. It's the opposite side that pushes the, the part against the metal on metal. I don't know if I described it or not correctly. Yeah, the pinch on this engine is brutally tight. You can definitely feel like it's a, it's a new engine. Um, yeah, you can also tell too. Yeah, that's screwing back like that. That's another thing you can like the, the stock uh, Traxxas exhaust manifold is screwed on. So that's actually like a, like a converter plate. Just as a precaution, I decided to take off the uh, rear cover to make sure there's nothing, no debris in there. But you can tell it's not a very high end engine. This gives you, you look at the crank, there's zero crank work done. But yeah, it definitely looks brand new, no doubt. It's not dirty at all. But yeah, there's an insane amount of pinch right now, so I can't even do that. So originally I thought I might put this in the Traxxas. 1.5 I have that blue one on the wall right there but um, yeah it's not a pull start so I'd have to change the whole crankshaft over not worth it now, another thing I liked about this uh, OS is it actually had a, a lower profile cooling head whereas uh, the Pico had a tiny cooling head um, so I mean if you, you don't really want to idle I think for a long time it won't cool off but um, this also like lowers the center of gravity so my last video. This is my 3D printed uh, clutch, Syntex clutch adjusting tool. Alright, got this in. Syntex tool or Syntex clutch shimmed out. Alright, ready to mount. Yeah, I noticed it's actually a six bolt uh, head, whereas most of the Italian stuff is four bolt. Alright, so I'm going to start off with number four glow plug here. Alright, got the um, throttle. Okay. So it should have the factory settings right now. That's a cool thing about these uh, OS is they actually document these uh, things very well. So you can still get the manuals, even engines that are 15, 20 years old. Whereas, uh, you know, Pico, it's good luck. All right, so this thing is so, the pinch is so tight. I'm going to use a heat gun. I'm also going to be using some, uh, my 20% basher fuel to, or to 20% nitro, 14% oil. And I'm just going to run about a half tank, let it warm up, then cool down. Do that for a couple half tanks, and then hopefully this pinch will free up a little bit. So 
Um, yeah, that's right now. It's, it's pinch, the pinch is so tight, it almost feels like it's scuffing. But, all right, so heat it up and uh, get it going. Glow plug on there, primed. Or four glow plug in there. Seats up. That's my other hand. Pretty good. <laughs> 